All right, you ready? Let's yeah. play it again. You got it? Yeah. All right, you got the people in the front or the back? Back. You got the guys in the front, I got the guys in the back. All right. Because they're in the wood. Ready. My fear was always like not wanting to date a bunch of people and my son see that. I always wondered like, would I ever date somebody who could fill that role for my son? So you excited for the wedding, son? Yeah, I can't wait to wear my tuxedo. Being able to connect on a real, real level, like where the man really wants to like be that person for him is hard to find. Yeah, you know, there's gonna be a lot right here. It's not very easy to connect with somebody else's child. <laughs> this boy right here. Vanessa, she's coming with the package, you know. He's got a, a young boy. She had chocolate and we ate some. It was not only taking her, it was taking my grandson. I was always fearful that I would never be able to fill that void for my son to give him that father figure role. I was really impressed. I think she, she hit the right person this time, you know? Good morning. You're taking too long. Party, party. I said, what's taking him so long? Eat, because I'm already oh, eating. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you don't want to eat? You yeah. change your table. No, I do. I do. Yeah, for the camera. Oh, for the camera. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. The way I look at it. We don't want you. We don't want you grumpy. It's for me, I believe the best today. one. You know, the very best, because of my son, Jason. I pray, thank you, Jesus, for this food. I try Chase, to line up everything according to the word of God and have that vision about him and his relationship with Vanessa. Look at this. That's a high school senior, I think, pictures. That's Vanessa too. When she got trained from high school, are your pictures? Coco, hey. Coco, come here, Coco. Come here. He was quiet. He was very quiet. I don't know how, where he picked up all this jokes, sir. He was real good at school. We couldn't take him to go get a haircut, so he had some clippers, and he's like, "I can cut it for you." So he said, okay, Dad, cut it, cut it. He sits down, and when he was cutting, the guard fell off. Messed up his Messed hair. Up all his hair. <laughs> but yeah. he fixed it where it looked. <laughs> it looked decent. <laughs> I was kind of sketchy for a little while because she was went to a rough time before, and I said, oh, not again, not another guy. Stuff like that, you know, you're thinking about the good things and the bad things, and I said, well, I hope this is the right person for her. <laughs> I saw Jason. Happy birthday to you and anymore. So in the minute I saw him, he was the right guy for, for my daughter. I hope it, uh, I got a good feeling that Jason is going to stick to it to the end. The reason I planned the bridal shower is because, you know, with Vanessa's mom not being here, and I know her mom would have the party's here. probably planned it for her. How are you? Look at you. I just kind of wanted What's her to feel comfortable, you know, you feel part of the family, and feel that we're here for her. <laughs> that was my first time. 
That was really fun. I think the girls enjoyed everything. <laughs> we had games. As soon as you can see the question. The cool, the cool one that everybody really enjoyed was where we picked um, groups of three. One of them was going to be the model. We used toilet paper to <laughs> dress that model. Then we have Vanessa pick the best one, the best dress. Oh, oh, we forgot over here. The booty's a little out. <laughs> and our winner is Karanda. It, it turned out really good. Yeah, and I think they enjoyed it. Vanessa had a good time, too. Well, it's the morning of, and baby's getting ready. <laughs> baby, you ready for your vacation? No. Your bachelorette party? She's not ready. First things first, you gotta eat. That's right, look at that, man. Got some <laughs> coffee ready, got her salsa, some <laughs> eggs. We ready. Going into this bachelorette, Scottsdale was extremely bougie. It was like a perfect house no. to accommodate our group. We were all a family in college. That's why we have strong opinions about who we bring into our family. We've been friends since I was 19. So I don't know the math there, but it's been, it's been several, several years. <laughs> it was my freshman year of college that I met her and we were just friends since. It's easy to remember where I started. We would start partying together because that was what you do when you're like a freshman in college and you know, whatever. And yeah, we got to, we started calling her <laughs> Mama Nessa. These are my parents. We Why needed to be parents? tamed and she'd be the one to kind of be like, no, 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 come here. You're not going there. Don't be talking to that boy. Don't go home with him. She's got this presence. Like, I mean, Jason has that too. Like they both have this like radiant, thing to them. For us meeting him, San Francisco, and not remember the exact moment, it's because he really did fit in that easily within our group. You know, like when you meet people, they're just very easy to talk to and like they make you feel comfortable. Um, that was his vibe. I kept saying like, why aren't y'all engaged yet? Because you guys have been family. Y'all have been our world. Like, okay, girl, like, when are y'all gonna get married? <laughs> she finally found her person. Like, this makes sense. I'm very excited that they found each other. Because it's hard to do. I might not be the first, but I'm the best. <laughs> I can't remember a lot, but I, the, the stuff I can remember, I'm looking for like that time. Um, actually, before you guys disperse, there's like little bags for everyone. Oh, oh Girls Day definitely looks different these days. It's gonna be like bougie ratchet. You ain't on my level then shoot. <laughs> If you're close enough to me, you know I'm crazy. <laughs> they know I, I just, I'm just a ball of fun, I guess. <laughs>
Had she gotten married in her mid-twenties, it would have been a completely different bachelorette. It's a different vibe. Single place for all the Arabian horses. Just able to like leave her family's boyfriends, kids, and like be able to let loose, do whatever, but like still have wholesome fun. Every swallow has its own DNA, just like us. So when your brain is out here and it's looking at swallow and swallow after swallow, it's kind of being at the airport and you're looking at different people, right? She's been so stressed planning this and stuff like that. It's gonna be that one moment to be like, we're here, let's just enjoy it. <laughs> Being present in those moments and enjoying really being with each other. It's like no matter what situation or what life we're in, we are always there for each other. And I think that's, well, shit, that's the most important part. That's sisterhood and stuff. This is a great Western trip. And so seeing her get to that place as she got older and find the right person, it's freaking beautiful. <laughs> Try to make an itinerary. I was like, yeah, let's get some rest because we're gonna have to wake up early in the morning to do the ATVs. What is it say on the back? Oh, that's my name too, bro. So I guess I'll get on this first one right here. It's gonna be popping. Felt like we're all kids again, man. We're riding around in these ATVs. But that was a good time. Did a lot of gambling. I guess Jason hadn't really gambled too much before, so he got into gambling. He won three hundred dollars. Y'all ready? Hey, so long marriage, happiness, and, and good luck. All right, thank y'all for coming here. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 That was quick. How's it going? Good. Good. Okay. So I've got a few more tables to go. So we're so getting good. there. And I just got the acrylic in the mail. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, it came through already? Yeah. Oh. People do have that perception of Vanessa the go big or go home. You know, she's classy, but. I'm so happy you're helping us with the signs. Oh, yeah, yeah, seriously. I don't want to say like uh, expensive taste. But expensive taste, you know. Hula hoop and the lights, and she was doing all this shit. I was like, bro, if I could have, if I could have like four of those at the wedding, like just have like stages. We're, we're excited for this wedding because of her input on the wedding, because she makes things bad and bougie, you know. It's like that was so fast. Yeah, like it's now hitting me like. We get married next week. Yeah. Like by Saturday, we'll be married. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jitters. Is it feeling real? I do feel more comfortable that like all our big like I do need to reply the caterer. She like I did my final like I had some final notations and she's yeah. she's good. DJ's good. Like that feels good. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I really do. I hope that we get to be ourselves and really turn up. Marcus! I want to make sure that I have a really good time and I just and just turn up and dance and laugh and drink and you know make sure that I don't black out or nothing or fall asleep on a couch. <laughs> And 
know, she texted me today. She was like, yo, I don't know what I was telling everybody last night, but I got about five people trying to come to your wedding and they want passes. And I'm like, yeah. South by Southwest I said, I said, um, I said, shoot, $8.30, $125, get you in the door, all you can drink. I feel like you legit have a bouncer outside. Yeah. If I had it my way, I would have had a lot of other things, too. Yeah. It could be bougie had, or, like, out of her budget, but, like, she's going to make it happen some way or somehow, and I think you're going to see a lot of that in the wedding. Big old bouncer on the checklist. But you're not on the list. You're not on the list. Sorry. When she wants something done big, she wants something done big. And y'all about to see this wedding. Like, it's going to be pretty cool, man. It's going to be live. Just getting ready for tomorrow, man. Just kind of taking it easy right now. Got a big day tomorrow. A little nervous. Yeah. Just want everything to go smooth. And I got to make sure my brother doesn't get all drunk, you know, because he gets wasted. Oh, yeah. I think, man, we're going to turn up a little bit at the wedding, man. I mean, it's going to be probably the first time in a while that me, my brother, my cousins, some of our friends are going to be all together again in the same area. So I think it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. We're going to enjoy the atmosphere, get on the floor, dance a little bit, have a good time. All right, guys. So, yes, again, be there tomorrow. Get ready to have fun. It's going to be a blast, and we're glad y'all are here with us. Viva Vargas. I think I got about 40 minutes to take a shower and get to the venue. I have officially written all my speeches last <laughs> Um, I'm running on no sleep again. And I finally got all my vows into my book. So, let's go get this party started today. Fly fishing in the river for salmon. That's good, dude. I have a good time. I mean, we, we went to to good times and bad times, you know, like everybody else, like everybody else. It's just was... how you come out, you know, at the end. Mm -hmm. At the end? Yeah, and, you know, everybody's got them, you know. You know, but not so nice. There's nobody else like Jason. And I think it, uh, we, our relationship is going to give you a bond and get better more. All the time. And you've been for there, dude, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And you've yeah. been. To, I know it's yeah. tough because, you know, being a single father, too, you know, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's tough. True. You know, it's tough. <laughs> you was in the same boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. both of us. Uh, I didn't want anything serious, you know. I didn't want to get hurt again. Um, but when I met Vanessa, it was like a whole other story. Oh, we have our ups and downs, but mm -hmm. stick you, we always come through it, and we always talk it out and yeah. everything. And That's cool. And it's, she broke the wall down that I had. Yeah, because it, it was up pretty high. You know, Amanda, Amanda Man, Polo, I know that's your daughter, but I love her, man. Like, she's my best friend, you know? Like, she's my best friend. You could be passed up. Passed out upstairs on the couch if y'all want. Yeah, as long as we are doing our jobs, each person at the ceremony, yes. making sure everything looks good. I literally have like an entire club rented and getting set up out there. So y'all, y'all could literally like pass out in a corner and on a on a booth. Oh, like in real life. Yeah, like in real life. And like in I've real got an ex that's gonna be there. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Drink all you want. These are the cocktails that I made. Like, I'm about to enjoy them. Cheers. I can't see nothing. Can I put a little bit of gloss? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like it with the black this time. I think it makes my eyes more. Yeah. We don't go have date night all the time. And especially with 2020, I don't always have my hair and my makeup done. So even when we get ready for dates, I think I surprise him. He's like, damn. I'm like, yeah, it's that girl you fell in love with, right? This is like a whole nother level. Miss America level.
But yeah, hey, as soon as y'all can, start putting y'all's pants on and stuff, because we got to get outside and take some pictures. Man, you retired, cuz? You don't play no more. Christian, I'm a little snug, okay? But. It makes me feel very happy that Christian has like a father figure like my dad, because I think my dad's just such a good, he's a great person. Church. Brother got the big heart. He's always been real giving. Doing a little project for my mother-in-law. So we got these stickers made. He's a jokester. I'm, I know he'd be making the females laugh and stuff, and he ain't an ugly dude. He's always been there for me. He's always stuck around. It just means a lot. The first thing I heard about Vanessa, my brother called me. He's like, yeah, man, I met this girl, man. She's a superstar. Shoot, he kept on talking about her for a couple of days. It got to the point where he was like, I could tell, you know, he was like, he found someone he liked and she was a real cool person. You can see the change in him. He started settling down, growing up a lot quicker. She compliments him and he compliments her. He's still, he's still the same, but he, the way he's took on the responsibility, you know? It's really cool to see my dad, like, parent a Christian. To see how much Christian loves him and, like, calls him dad, you know? Just stuff like that really makes me happy. It feels fine. Good? Yeah, I don't even feel it. Okay. Perfect. It's gonna be the most incredible moment, and I just know, like, they're gonna be having fun. They're gonna hopefully have some jokes in their vows. I know he's gonna be happy, man. He's been waiting for this moment, I could tell. I'm telling you, man, my, my brother got a big heart, man. He, he's, a, he's a lover boy, man, I'm telling you. He's gonna, he's gonna drop some tears for sure when she's walking down that aisle. He may try to play it off and joke and laugh a little bit about it, but he's gonna drop some tears for sure. Everybody see me like? Thank you, appreciate it. And now, you, how about yours? How are you feeling right now? Man, I'm ready. I'm uh, sure you're ready? Oh yeah, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I was up last night imagining everything, you know, that's going on. So I'll be ready for when ready. when today happens. So I'm, I'm it's been excited, a bum, it's been a bumpy ride, right? Yeah. Eight been, years. It's been a nine. Nine years. Nine. So you you've been helping my daughter with my grandson for nine years. Yeah. You've done a good <laughs> job, yeah. and, and I appreciate it. Yeah, it's about time. Nine years. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> that took a long time. I had to write it like nice, like it was all like, it was all messy what and was it? What unre unreadable. It's my mom's uh, speech. Uh, yeah, my mom's speech. I need to like stick to a script or I'll just be everywhere and emotional. I won't, yeah, so it's all here. <laughs> I want to dedicate some time to talking about her. I didn't get to to have that. I didn't do a memorial service for her in the middle of all this, and I have my reasons for that, but I feel like um, that this is the perfect time on her birthday to just kind of talk about her, what she did for me. She always knew that Jason was definitely something special because he not only like loved me with his all, but he loved Christian. I would never expect her to have a anything less than the best for a wedding dress, and I think my dad's gonna cry. It's gonna make me cry. It's gonna make everybody else cry. So I'm, I'm just so excited for that moment. My fiance is gorgeous. I love her. She's my best friend, and I just know the moment that I see her in a white dress, about to be my wife, there's gonna be a lot of emotions just flowing, you know? I think I'm gonna be super nervous, for sure. Just cause like all eyes are on me, but I think I'm also gonna be super excited because I don't like people's eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous right now, but uh, 
everything's going good, you know. I'm taking that step. There you go. It's been, yeah, it's been a long time coming. Nine years, can you believe it? Yeah, when I brought Vanessa up, nine years. But uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. But uh, like I said last night, I was doing my vows, and oh yeah, I was in the lobby walking around. I was just walking, reading my vows out loud. <laughs> I think the lady at the front counter thought I was talking to her when I was like, "I love you." I need you. And she was like, I know. But, <laughs> nah, I think I'm ready. I'm good. It's a little nervous, but we're good to go. Yeah, I'm ready. Tristan, why? Too early. Just my baby girl. You look I like an you. angel. <laughs> you look like a princess. Hi. I don't know what to tell you, but you are beautiful. <laughs> you are so beautiful, me. I and love you. you. I never thought it was going to happen because we was getting old, just getting older. Huh? I look like my daddy. <laughs> and you're my masterpiece. Uh -huh. You're my art masterpiece. You're a wonderful daughter. You're a wonderful daddy. No. <laughs> You have everything for me, baby. If it wasn't because of you, I wouldn't have found a man like Jason. <laughs> so I'm real proud of her and Jason. I love that guy. And he works hard just like you. I know, Mika. And he takes care of me like always. Good. And, and protects me just like you always protected me. <laughs> I think we got the right guy, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Well, <laughs> love really I think she, she hit the right person this time, you know? Talk to mom, but it's just too hard. You talk to, did you talk to mom? Yes. Okay. Love you. Love you. She's such a strong person. Vanessa loved her mom so much. They were like, they were like this. Like they were just unstoppable together, you know? For her to be able to overcome, you know, not just like hide away and like still trying to keep her mom in mind for the day, like celebrating her at the wedding, you know, just, I just think she's so strong. What she's taught me as, as a woman led me to, to meeting Jason and who I am as a, as, a, as a woman and now going to be a wife. showing the video uh, footage from when Jason proposed to me in 2019 and we haven't shown anybody or my parents haven't seen it friends family nobody so that they're about to show it on the TV ladies and gentlemen uh, before we start uh, we have a presentation that Gus and I have been holding out and not showing anybody uh, we want to premiere here for you guys to see nobody's seen it so uh, I want to direct your attention over to the TV uh, for the world premiere of 
modern day. All right, everybody. So uh, it's been a crazy morning. Uh, Vanessa doesn't know that I'm off. Uh, we're off tomorrow on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, I took the day off so I can go get stuff ready uh, for this big proposal that you guys are about to see. When I proposed to Vanessa, I had to figure out how could I catch it on camera without her knowing she's about to get proposed to. We were on a staycation here in town. I reached back out to him, and I was like, hey, I want to propose to my girlfriend at the time, but I need some help. I need you to email us back and say that you want to do an interview for your website. I'm going to have my own camera guy. I'll give him the questions. All you got to do is just tell her to agree to it. The day comes that we're supposed to go to this hotel. I didn't feel good. I had like really bad allergies. I was sneezing and I, I my eyes were watering. I couldn't put my makeup on. I'm like, baby, don't worry. You'll be fine by the time we get there. Just get ready. We finally get there and we sit down. He asks us the questions. You know, he's like, do you mind if I follow you guys to your room? So it was really funny because I was like, how did I not see it coming? And I remember he was shaking, he was so nervous, and I was, uh, I didn't pick up on it. As we get to the room, open up the huge doors, my saxophone guy comes from down the hall, he starts playing the song, and we walk in. I was actually, I was shaking, like I was like shaking, and, and I was already starting to cry, and I was just like, I, I said, is this it? Is this, I was like, is this it? And as she's looking at everything, I drop down to a knee. My saxophone player guy's there playing the John Legend song. Video guy's recording the whole thing, and I ask her to be my wife. And uh, she says yes. This was meant to be, you know, like the way it all worked out, the way it all panned out. I have it on video now. We can, you know, show our kids, I can show their kids. I never really thought about put, showing it at the wedding until like ran it one day, it just like came to my head. I'm excited for like my dad to see it. You know, everyone's heard the story, but no one's like really kind of see it. And, it, and it's, and at least it's not long, you know, it's nice, nice and short, you get the picture, you know? I, I think it's gonna be nice. <laughs> Take my whole life to
who gives this bride to the groom? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only wearing these because they look cool, not because I'm getting old. <laughs> Vanessa, most people say the day they meet their significant other, they would have never thought they'd be here. Not me. I knew that when I saw you looking all fly with your black and white dress on, <laughs> nails done, your hair done, sitting on that couch, looking like a superstar, that one day you'd be my wife. Getting to know you over the years has made me fall more and more in love with you every day. You are sweet when I don't make you mad. Smart, even though I'm a little smarter. <laughs> Funny, even though everyone knows you get your comedy side from me. But most of all, you're my best friend. Today, I join my life with yours. Not only as your husband, but as your best friend, your lover, and your biggest supporter. I can't promise that dark clouds won't be around from time to time, and I can't promise you that tomorrow will be perfect. However, what I can promise is that I'll always stand by your side and be there for whenever you need me. I promise to be the shoulder you need to cry on and to wipe your tears away. I promise my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, and my respect. I promise you unconditional love for the rest of my life and will do anything and everything to make you happy and to make you feel loved. Honey, I promise, I'll, I promise <clears throat> you will never have to face the world alone ever again. If you stumble, Big Daddy will be there. <laughs> I promise to rub your head and give you my chest to lay on until you fall asleep every night. I promise to find something other than the office to watch on TV. <laughs> and I promise to make sure the dishes are washed correctly the first time. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to make you fall in love with me over and over again. So with this ring, I ask you to be my wife, to have and to hold for the rest of our lives, to be there for each other in both sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, until death was part. Vanessa, I promise I'll never stop putting that overtime when it comes to us. <laughs> so I ask you, will you be my forever superstar? Oh, 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 don't worry. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get your popcorn. It's going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, wow, where do I begin? We finally made it to the altar. I can't believe we are just two weeks away from our nine-year anniversary from the day we met one another. It's been a long, crazy, beautiful journey together, and I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. We have truly been through it all, all the trials and tribulations that a new and growing relationship brings. We've loved, we've cried, we've fought, we've lost, we've raised kids, made a home, and most importantly, built a solid foundation to our relationship that I can truly stand here today and know a thousand percent that we are where we need to be. I truly know with all my bo mind, body, and soul that there is nothing or no one that can tear us apart. That even in our weakest days, that the one thing that always prevails is our love for one another. I want you to know that my love for you runs so deep that I can feel it coursing through my veins. I can't imagine a day without you by my side. There is nowhere I'd rather be in this world than with you. I remember when we were discussing where we would lay down our roots and move, move to as a family, and we were staying in that little old batch pad of yours on the east side. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you that I didn't care where we lived, that I would live, I would live under I-35 bridge off of Cesar Chavez. If that meant being with you, well, I met that, and I still do. And as long as I'm in your arms, with my face buried into that big chest of yours, and with your arms wrapped around me, then I am the happiest woman alive. That's where I feel safest like no harm will come my way, 
The world could be crumbling around me and I wouldn't even know because in your arms, all the bad fades away. Jason, you truly embody what I believe a man, a husband, and a father should be. You are a God-fearing man, a provider, a protector, a good hustler, a fighter, a person that will go to the end of the world for those he loves. I see these qualities in you every day. You are kind, patient, loving, attentive, and respectful. You listen and fulfill all my needs, wants, and desires. And who said chivalry was dead? Nine years later, you still open my door and you pull out my chair. You literally are the man that helps the old lady cross the road, helps the old man in the wheelchair mow his lawn. You bring ice cream to our sick neighbor. You help struggling ladies with groceries and a man who needs a car jump or his tires change. Even buy the homeless guy a six pack because, well, that's what he asked for, Vanessa. <laughs> And you do it with a smile, so effort effortlessly. And even if you are too busy and you expect nothing in return, this is why you are a blessed man. You have a heart of gold and I aspire to be you, to be better every day. You have taught me so much and I'm truly a better person today because of you. I know that if our boys end up half the man that you are, I would still be a happy mama. Jason, after nine years, I still look at you and those handsome good looks, your eyes, those dimples, your smile, and I still get butterflies. <laughs> I got them right now. <laughs> when I see you walk into the room looking out fly, I'm one lucky woman. My vow to you today is to continue. And I say continue because today doesn't change what I've always strived to be for you, which is a loving, supportive, caring, loyal, and devoted wife and mother. I have been your wife long before today. I have given you all of me, all that I can possibly give. Well, except, except for my life. <laughs> but we'll work on that. <laughs> and that the only last thing I have to give is to shed this guy, you know, and today become Mrs. Vargas. I am so honored to do that and to officially be your wife, my love. You make, we make one darn good team, and I can't wait to see what God has in store for us as we move to our next chapter in, my in our lives. I love you today forever until eternity. Will you be my man? Yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the power invested in me, by God, I pronounce you husband and wife. With that clean All the jams, he's got the voice, he's got the strings, kill it. What do you think's gonna happen after the wedding tonight? Babies, no kidding. <laughs> She's my best friend. I wouldn't have it any other way. 
So he's my ride or die. We'll be together forever. You can only feel that about certain people. And I have that feeling about Vanessa. I'm a mom. If you're gonna be in my life, I come with I come with something. In years, we like a, we've been growing together with Christian, Jason, and I. Now I'm not just uh, Vanessa's father. I'm a friend. It's not always going to be perfect. It's going to be rough times, growing pains. I would say, you know, growing pains. But the longer it's love, trust, and respect for each other, that's what they need. You want your marriage to succeed, you're gonna have to involve God in it. There's very few that succeed. But with God, man, you can go on forever. I remember the first time my dad told me about Vanessa, and my first thought as a scrawny 10-year-old was great, a step monster. <laughs> When I met Vanessa, my first impression of her was that I had never met someone who was so sure of who they are. My dad and stepmom's relationship has created an incredibly beautiful blended family, and I feel so blessed that I'm able to be a big brother to my stepbrother Christian, who I love so much. From the first moment he met Vanessa, she became the superstar of his life. I automatically ask him, how do her parents feel about you, bro? <laughs> we get along really good. Her mom told me, you better take care of them, because if you don't, I'll take care of them. <laughs> Thanks for being my sister and allowing me to be a part of all your family. I couldn't be more excited for this couple. They've always spent nearly a decade with each other, but this is only the beginning. Wishing you guys another beautiful decade. Now let's raise our glasses to the Vargases. <laughs> That's right. That was like awesome. You guys. Good that was good, girl. That was good. That was a good one. <laughs> testing. Testing. One, two. One, two. I just want to always say that. Oh my gosh. So before we go and party it up, I want to divert your attention to another reason why we are celebrating today. I am going to go off this script. Um, I don't, it's, this is gonna be very hard for me. So here we go. Today is not only a celebration of Jason and I's love for one another and all that we have built together, but today is a celebration of life. As most of us here today know and are aware that I lost my mother seven months ago. Deciding to move forward and continue planning this wedding and to be standing here today was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But you know what was the deciding factor? God already had set his plan for her life way before we knew it was coming. When I found out my mom had cancer in 2020, I booked this venue. And when I was choosing a Friday date in March, there was only two available. And today was one of them, March 18th. Today's significance is because today is my mother's birthday. So I, before I booked this day, I asked for her blessing. And to my surprise, she gave it. And she said that she thought it would be a perfect day in March. She wanted to share her day with me so 16 months ago, I had no idea that today would have more than one meeting to celebrate, but God knew. I am the woman I am today because of her. She taught me family was first. She was my perfect example of how to be a mom and a wife. My morals and values are engraved in me through her. When I dropped my mom off at that airport, I never thought she would not be returning home from her trip. I find myself now loving harder, more deeply, having richer moments, and being more present in the moment. And when I say goodbye, I wanna make it a good goodbye. A long goodbye, not a pat on the back, or a wave, or a simple I'll see you later. A goodbye that I can cherish, should it be my last. So if you're upset with someone, or not talking to a loved one, I encourage you to pick up the phone and call them. I can promise you at the end of all of it, it's not worth it. Don't wait till a funeral, or a wedding, to see or talk to those who you care for. Don't hold grudges. Let go and love. So let's put your drinks in the air. 
as you see, we got a little memorial drink. So tonight when we go in there and we party it up, just remember we are celebrating life and love and my mama's birthday. Happy birthday! about this but uh i'd like everybody to join me in a happy birthday song for my mother-in-law lisa here we go happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear lisa happy birthday to you It's gonna be off for going, man. It's gonna be a time to remember, I guarantee you. I wanna for real relive Father's Day. But you can still tell me that I'm handsome. My mind fatiguing lately. You're a rest of the Let them see how the Vargas is do it. No matter how messed up we gonna get this money either. It's still gonna be a good time. It's not like anybody's watching. It's not like I'm gonna have it on camera for years and years to come, you know? So just be yourself. Go have fun. Get ratchet. But this whole thing, try not to be too goofy, but embarrass me. So now you better talk to Jason about that part. George, me and Daddy are gonna break dance. <laughs> no, probably not. I can never mess with a random. Tryna take my mind any phantom Baby, back up where your manners She wanna take my heart for the ransom But you can still tell me that I'm handsome My mind been fatiguing lately You're a risk for my mental safety You spent my nights down at the bathroom I feel like our love's gonna grow even stronger Having my best friend as my wife like I was the only love I've ever known. I can't ask for more. That's gonna be my baby girl forever. But she asked me if I'm reaching from the bottom. A superstar. <laughs> yeah. From the end to from gone. Uh oh, now it's our turn. Now we gotta get the fuck out. True is Seeing her get to that place as she got older and find the right person, it's like, oh my god, like, there is hope out there. I just want her to cherish the moment, cherish every moment that she has with Jason. And also baby girl with her. You work together in your marriage, you work together. She's a part of my family now too, it's not just about him. I wish them the best, always. Love just grows stronger through any hardship. It really means a lot to me to see my dad so happy. Yeah. Oh, my dad is married now. <laughs> Justin Porter Media, it's a wrap, baby, it's a wrap. I used to live and love in all the same old places. I found the bottom of the bills always got me jazzed. But you put out your heart I so they did who we say And cause there is nothing Like your load Give me a See you escape your sweet strawberry wine. You will swoon as a glass of brandy, and the ice is on all your.